Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? Today is the day, man. Today is Seven Spires. I am about to leave to go traveling to Manchester and then to have the meet and greet with Seven Spires and then to do all the watching of gigs and have amazing music times and a great night and probably get back at like 2, 3, 4 a.m. or whichever way you want to go about it. I want to start the video off a little bit normally and just to say that I've never recorded a vlog before. Like, like out in public talking to cameras and... It's going to be interesting just to see. I'm going to try to get some six shots on my phone because it's just going to be like a phone vlog. So it's going to be interesting. My phone's good. So it, it should be decent-ish quality. But after that, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how I can edit it together to see how I can compile it and all of that. So either way, man, let's go on my journey, man. I'm just about to leave. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the journey along the way with me. So yeah, man, we're just starting out on the journey. Like, there's only two metal slash, not even really metal pubs, just rock pubs in the city where I live, right? This one is the one right by the coach station. It's called Subside. Just thought I'd show it as I'm on my way anyway. And yeah, we're just heading towards the coach station. Like, there's a bunch of people. Try not to get anybody in shots if I can physically help it. And yeah, man, this is just going on the way to the coach station. On the way to, hopefully, amazingness. Which I'm imagining it definitely will be. Considering this is like future me, but still. So is up everybody. I'm waiting for my coach. It's currently about one almost. Got about half an hour, forty five minutes to get on it. Going to Manchester. It's gonna be interesting. It's so weird to be out to be outside and talking and recording and all that stuff, man. Either way. We'll we'll, we'll be in the coach in just a few minutes later. Yeah. Never been here before. Never in my life, man. So it's gonna be it's gonna be new. We've got a Google Maps a lot of shock, but hopefully it'll all be sick. So I'm gonna go for one. I'll catch up with you guys closer to the good club. And yeah man, this is the club, the place the venue whichever way. It's called the Rebellion Club in Manchester. It was okay. It was kinda small in my opinion, but it was a decently it sounded good man, so whichever way. And yeah man, the meeting group, the meeting group was so Legendary man, we had so much fun during it. Got to meet everybody, got to meet every single member of the band, got to do all of that stuff. Got to shake everybody's hand, got a hug at the end man, got to, got to have a little Q&A and just, you know, just chat and have a bunch of time just to talk to them, get to know them a little bit, like, you know, as people, not just as musicians, like, they were all just chilled, like, most people were really nervous, which I can totally understand. So, like, there was a little bit of nervous energy, but... We all kind of warmed up to each other. I made a few friends, if you want to call it that. Like a few people who I spoke to during it. And we just hung out together at the gigs because we were all just big Seven Spies fans. So it makes sense, right? And yeah, got my picture taken. I didn't record anything from this bit as I thought it would be quite disrespectful to actually do that. So I just had the picture. And I can just add in my own little story to it from that point, man. And yeah, amazing time. I loved me and them. It was so cool. It was like the highlight of my life, man. Like, you know, when they say don't meet me here, if this is the exception to that woman, they were all so friendly, they were all so nice. It's definitely worth getting the meeting great if you do want to meet them, they are very friendly. And very appreciative of people who support them. As they're still a fairly small band, which kind of sucks, but hey, what can you do, man? Let's keep going and let's move on. <laughs> So it's just the first band that was playing before Seven Spires. They were pretty good. They were kind of repetitive after a while. They, the song sounded the same kind of a stuff. On to what we came here for. Release that bracket!
YouTube, what is up man? I'm out of Seven Spires slash Twilight Force slash whatever the hell else it is man. Seven Spires were fucking amazing. They were the best band of the night. Twilight Force were... I don't know how to really describe it to be fair I think. Probably annoying. Like just generic typical power metal bullshit whichever way you want to go about it right. Like, Seven Spires were fucking ridiculous. They were so good. They were even better live than they are recorded. Like I was near the front so I didn't get the best angle for music live, but at the same time, they were still fucking amazing. Man. And yeah, I'm heading home soon. I've got about an hour and 20 minute wait till my coach out, or something like that. I'm getting home about 2.30, then probably about 4am or 5am by the time I fucking get home. But it's worth it. The same spies were amazing. Got to meet Adrian, get to meet the whole band. Got a picture with them, all that stuff. Stuff I'll add into the video at the very end. And yeah, a sick night. Like even with the shit headlining band, as Summer Spires weren't headlining, like they still performed so good that it made the night amazing. My hair is fucking wrecked by the way, because I like headbanged too way too much. Almost lost my voice, man, just like. I'm gonna be surprised if I have a neck in the morning because you're doing everything. And yeah, man, I hope you guys are having a fucking awesome, awesome day. This video will be up very, very soon. Once I get home, get all the editing done, get the alcohol out of my system as I've drank about three or four pints since I've watched Twilight Force because it's just been so horrendous for me to listen to but yeah I hope you guys have had an amazing day got my commentary and all that shit over the top of this most lightly and yeah I tried to add some cool shit I don't know whether it worked I hadn't I added no Twilight Force to the video as it didn't seem worth it in my opinion but stuff And yeah, um, we are back home. So yeah, I decided to do the only reason really thing. And that's to walk home at... So yeah, there's no buses. An Uber or a taxi. It's about 10 to 15 quid. Or pounds. About $20 around about. Doesn't seem worth it. There's a bus in 12. And it'll take me an hour and a half to walk home. So, I'm gonna walk home. Because fuck waiting and... You know, I'm kind of hyped up, you know what I mean, I kind of have a fuck ton of energy, which I need to burn off before I get anywhere close to going to sleep, so. And a walk in the nice cool air will do some good when after you've been like in a hot gig and travelling around on a coach that's quite that's a field of people. So, man. So, yeah, man, I'm back home. It's been a couple of days. Um, like a day? Like, I don't know. 24th was the, the gig, the 25th was rest, so the 26th is what it is today. As I'm back home. And I'm doing the ending to all of this man. Doing the merch and everything else man. Just showing you what I got the swag or whatever the hell you want to call it man. I had a blast. I was literally so tired yesterday. That I just didn't even feel like editing or recording or anything like that. So that's why this is coming out today. And yeah man. This is. I think I'm going to go t-shirts first. I was wearing the t-shirt to be fair. So I just changed it so I could show you. If that makes sense. So. 
So we have, firstly, the Gods of Debauchery t-shirt, which is... Where is it? There we go. Yep. I've got two of these. I've got one that's for me, one for my other half, Alula. As we're going to have matching shirts, so that's what she wanted to do, so we have two of those. And we have this one right here. Let me try to get it up so I can show. I think this design is the coolest one of them all, to be fair. I love the design of the shirt. This shirt is so cool. It has all of the tour dates on the back of it, so... I know it's not the best way for me to show it, but that's the best I can really do with it. And then one final thing. So yeah, we've got three t-shirts all together. And I got a wonderful signed picture from all of the band members. Like there's Adrian and there's like the rest of the band who can barely understand the signatures. But yeah. And yeah, so just something to remember it by. Like I've got t-shirts from the gig and I've got signed things and it's awesome. And yeah, the meeting greet was amazing. Oh, you, you will already have heard that in the overview of the video anyway. But, you know, in the... The commentary, that's the word I'm looking for. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I was waiting for 22 hours roundabout for the whole day. Like, I only slept at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. It was absolutely crazy. But worth every single second of wait, man, and still. Hope you guys made it till the end. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a word, man. Leave seven spires in the comments if you made it to the end. And yeah, have a wonderful day, evening, good night. And I will catch you guys in the very next video. Until then, take it easy.